Conversion optimized ads help you to track conversions of a particular ad campaign that you are running. In order to run a conversion optimized Google ad, you need to paste the Google ads code in the header section of your WordPress website. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Walia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we are going to learn how we can paste the Google ads conversion code on our WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first step that you have to absolutely do before you start the whole process is install a snippet or a code plugin, which would help you add these little snippets or codes to your WordPress website without altering the actual code or getting into the whole technical stuff of it all. So first of all, we need to go to plugins and add new in our left sidebar. And then we need to install the HFCM plugin. I'm going to go with HFCM. You can go with any other plugin that you already have or have installed in your WordPress website. All right. So I can see the header footer code manager right here. I'll just click on install now. And that's done. Now we will activate it. All right. Now that that's done, let's get into the actual steps of the entire video. So once you have added your code plugin, you have to go and log into your Google Ads dashboard. And this is what it might look like. All right. So in the above section right here, you might see that there are still search reports and then there is tools and settings. So we have to click on tools and settings right here. And there are different sections, right? We have to go to conversions, which is under measurement. So we'll go to conversions. This is the page that you're going to land on. As you can see, you have to go ahead and click on this blue new conversion action button. All right. All of these options. Now we have to track conversions for our website. So we're going to choose website from here. Awesome. So it will ask for your domain URL for it to scan and verify. So let's go ahead and add your domain. It will check if you already have a global site tag or an event snippet deployed on your WordPress website. Okay. Awesome. So the next thing that you have to do is scroll down and just click on add a conversion action manually from here. Awesome. So now you have all these fields that you have to fill according to what your objective is. So your goal and action optimization, as you can see, they tell you what all of this means, right? So you can use these goals, categories to group your conversion actions and segment your campaign reports. I'm going to choose submit lead form for lead categories. Okay, so the next thing is naming your conversion. I'm just going to name it just one value. And the value that I'm going to opt for ha has to be don't use a value for this action. Um, the count can be one since, you know, as you can see over here, it says you are tracking leads. Someone clicks your ad and enters their information twice on your website. Only one conversion is reported per click if we click on one. So it's always better to click on one from here. And then you create and continue. Also, if you don't understand value counts or goals in optimization, Google Ads tells you exactly what this is. So feel free to go ahead and read it and also click on learn more if you want to understand it better. All right, create and continue. Now comes setting up the tag and we want to install the tag ourselves. So we will click on that. Great. Now you have two tags here. You have the global site tag and you have the event snippet. So the global site tag and the event snippet works together to track your conversions. And that is why it is important that you deploy, deploy both of these tags on your WordPress website. So firstly, we're going to deploy the global site tag and the global site tag will be deployed all over your website. So let's go ahead and copy this particular 
tag that we have right here. The next step is to go back to your WordPress dashboard. And as you can remember, we installed the HFCM plugin in the beginning of the video. So you can just click on that. And the next step is to click on add new snippet. Awesome. So a few fields that you will have to fill, not a big deal. Just name the snippet something that you want. Global site tag works perfectly since it is exactly that. Snippet type, HTML. Site display should be site wide. And you can leave these two options blank. The location should be header. And the device display should be on all devices. Status, active. Now, all you have to do is paste the global site tag right here. Click on save. And now that is done, we will go ahead and deploy the second tag as well, which is our event snippet. All right, so you get back to your Google Ads page and then you have your event snippet right here. So again, copy this particular code, go back to your WordPress dashboard, Add a new snippet, the snippet name. You can just name it event snippet. I'm going to name it event snippet one. The snippet type, HTML. The site display, however, should be for a particular page. Now, this can be for any page in which you have any event running, right? For example, if you have an ad running and that ad leads to a thank you page, you can add this particular event snippet on that particular thank you page as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So specific page, you can also put it for a specific post if you like. It's up to you where you want to put it. And then it's going to show you some page lists, the pages that you already have. So I'm going to choose thank you page from here. And location, header, device display, show on all devices, and status should be active. Now we just paste the code and save it. Great, let's get back to HFCM. And as you can see, we have deployed both the tags from our site. Next, you have to go back to the Google Ads page, click on Next. And you can just go ahead and read these important next steps and things to note. And then once you're done with that, click on done. And there you go. You have successfully installed Google Ads conversion tracking code on your WordPress website. Thank you guys for watching the entire video. I really hope this video was helpful to you all. You can go ahead and click on the like button if you liked the video. And you can go ahead and comment any queries, any suggestions or any other video that you would like to see on our Learn Today channel. Go ahead and hit on that subscribe button for the Learn Today channel along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Jaswin Balia and I will see you in our next SOP.